Hi everyone, Christina here. Um, this is the story of me adopting my two cats. Um, haven't done my makeup and haven't dried my hair today, but I just wanted to pop on here and say hello before we get into the photos and videos. Before we get to the photos, um, I was thinking about adopting two cats after my cat Manny passed away uh, about five weeks ago almost six weeks ago and I wanted to get two cats for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, when I travel I wanted to make sure that the cat, you know, if there was just one cat, I wanted them to have a friend. Um, I had never done that for Manny because he didn't get, get along with other cats. So I wanted to make sure that I had two cats that could be friends with each other. And then also I wanted to have uh, two cats just because why not? It's more fun. More love, more fun. So that is how I came to the decision to have two cats. So I always wondered what Manny's life was like before I adopted him. I adopted him at eight years old. So he'd had a whole life or a few lives previous to coming to me. So I'd always wondered what had happened to him. So I thought um, I wanted to adopt a kitten or even maybe an older cat, but I wanted to know what their past was. So I've always loved American short hair cats, purebred American short hair cats. Um, I'm not really big into cat shells or anything like that. I just thought they were beautiful and that they have an, an amazing temperament and I thought they'd be a really good fit for me. So I started to put out a few feelers, um, just some breeders that I found online. Unfortunately, there were none in my area, so I kind of had to look out of state. And I was really hoping to hear back from one particular breeder, and after a few days, I did, and I was really excited. Uh, sadly, she said that their waiting list for kittens was two years long, <laughs> so kind of a bummer. I knew I wouldn't be able to get cats right away. So that, and I was also sort of, sort of doubting, like, do I want a kitten? I've only really ever had an older cat. So anyway, I decided, you know, after hearing from her, she also mentioned that she had two older cats that were raised since they were kittens by the same family, but unfortunately the family was unable to care for them anymore. And so they had brought the two cats back to the breeder. So they were ones that she had not seen for um, six and eight years. And, but she was fine trying to find a home for them. And she'd had them in her care for about three months and was unable to place them both together. So uh, when I, contacted her she like from their website they have you fill out this questionnaire and it's like a lengthy questionnaire and because of that I felt like they really cared about where their cats were going so I thought that was a really good sign and all of the cats that I'd seen online that were from this particular cattery were beautiful they were just beautiful cats everyone was raving about them saying they were so wonder wonderful so I knew these cats uh, would be fantastic Carly, the breeder, was wondering if I would be interested in these two cats, and she said that she would text me some photos. So now we're going to get into the photos, and you will see why they just stole my heart right from the beginning. So here is the very first picture that she sent. This is Daphne, who is eight years old, and her cute little face, I just fell right in love with her. And she sent me quite a few uh, pics of Daphne, including this video with Daphne playing, which you can really see all of the coloring on her back. That's one of the things I really love about American short hair tabbies is that they have beautiful patterning. Uh, they call it marbling on their back and throughout their body. I think it's so cute. And then they also kind of have spots on their tummy and you can see that on Daphne as well. So the, the breeder, when I uh, actually got them, I got to talk with her a little bit. She said that uh, years ago, Daphne was one of the very first kittens that they ever had. So um, the look of how the look of the cats kind of changed over time, and there's about two years in between Daphne and Sophie. So you'll see a big difference in their facial features and kind of their build. Mm -hmm. So Daphne is a little bit. Um, She's not as stocky. She's not quite as solid as Sophie, and you'll see in some photos in a minute here. Sophie's actually also a little bit more uh, stoic and a little less serious. She doesn't play as much, which you can see in these uh, pictures here, but these kind of make her look a little bit angry. She's not. You'll see in the pictures that I show you that she's not angry at all. She's sometimes how her eyes look. So I uh, agreed to go to Seattle. 
And so my mom and I, my mom happened to be in town, which was very fortunate because the airline would only allow one pet per passenger. So I couldn't go and pick up both of them together. So my mom came with, and once we got to Seattle, we waited outside of the airport waiting for Carly to pick us up. And then I got in the back of the car and there were the two kitties. So in the back there is Daphne and in the front is Sophie. And they were just totally adorable. They t stole my heart right from the beginning. They have the cutest little meows. Um, I don't think I've caught any of their meows on uh, video yet, but I'll try to do that in the future. But um, Daphne had thrown up that morning because of all the travel in the car and Sophie, um, well, when I put them in their carriers, they seemed to be okay. Even when we were on the train going from the main terminal down to our gate and getting them on the plane, but Sophie, uh, got sick right at the very end and she actually threw up in her carrier and we had to clean her up at the Salt Lake airport once we arrived. But flying with them actually went really smoothly. I was surprised how smoothly it went. Um, if you guys want more details on that, let me know and maybe I can write a blog post about traveling with cats. So like I said before, when I uh, when we arrived home, Sophie had thrown up on herself and in the carriage. So she was cut a little bit messy, so we cleaned her up as much as we could. But when we got home, she went straight under my bed, which I'm not sure what all that stuff is under my bed, but she was very quick to go under there and clean herself up um, so that she looked better. And then I coaxed her out and they both ate some food right away and were just adorable. So here's some more photos of Daphne before uh, Sophie really came out from under the bed. And I'm just gonna turn on some music so you guys can enjoy the photos and the videos. And thank you so much for allowing me to share my two new kitties with you guys. If you have specific questions about them, um, oh, like for instance, some of you were asking how I can tell them apart. And the, the easiest way to tell them apart for me is that Sophie has a little bit of a kink in her tail on the very tip, so I can usually tell by looking at their tails. And then also, if you look at their faces, um, the stripes on their forehead, Daphne has straight up and down stripes, but um, Daphne, or Sophie right here, she kind of has some diagonal stripes on the sides. So right now you're looking at Daphne because she's got those stripes that go straight up and down. And then um, watch for Sophie here in a minute. She's gonna have, oh, her head's turned, Never mind. <laughs> You're not going to see it right now, but um, in, a, in a minute here, you'll see some more Sophie images. Oh, here you go. You can see those stripes are a little more diagonal. So such sweet girls. Um, anyway, I'm going to turn on some music and let you guys enjoy. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> 